Jesus knew, respected, memorized, and lived God's word. He knew its power to transform human lives. Today, God's word still has life-giving power. We need to nourish our spiritual lives as much as we feed our bodies. Otherwise, we will all be weak in faith. In our post-secular society, many people don't believe in the supernatural. Many folks see the Bible as outdated and irrelevant to contemporary life. Some people approach the Bible with suspicion, while others use human methods to interpret it. Jesus approached the Bible with faith in God. He overcame temptations in his weakest human condition by depending on the Word of God. In each temptation of the enemy, Jesus responded quoting the Bible with the words, It is written, The law is a transcript of God's loving character. So Jesus demonstrated that he did not come to destroy the Ten Commandments, but rather to give us deeper insight into them. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible lifts up and celebrates God's law. Jesus understood the Old Testament as inspired and authoritative. He consistently referred to Old Testament people, places, and events as historical truth. He quoted from 17 Old Testament books and mentioned 20 Old Testament characters. Jesus also gave God the credit for a quote written by Moses, revealing God as the divine source and author of that statement. The New Testament writers approached the Bible the same way that Jesus did. The Old Testament for them was the authoritative word of God. The Bible alone is the ultimate standard and foundation of our belief. After the death of Jesus, two disciples were walking on the road to Emmaus, a small town just outside Jerusalem. They were confused and upset at the events that had just taken place regarding Jesus' death. The Bible says that unbeknown to them, Jesus, after his resurrection, joined them on the road. With encouragement, he reminded them that the sufferings of Christ were already referred to in the Old Testament, from Genesis to the books of the prophets. This would have been a wonderful Bible study to be a part of. In fact, Jesus opened their minds to understand the Old Testament. We cannot see Christ in the scriptures unless he opens our minds. Genuine spirituality is always marked by a love for and a delight in God's Word. The Bible calls us to have a compelling desire for the Word. God can grant each of us this experience of craving His Word, tasting His goodness, and growing in His love. Ask with an open heart, and you'll see it.